Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I am reviewing this beauty for you which you can see is humongous, weighs an absolute ton. This is a DW home candle crossed with Ray Dunn called, well it's, it's mulled wine but the front says toxic on it. Um, so underneath there you can see it's mulled wine which I thought was a bit of an odd scent to do for a Halloween scent but the main thing that drew me to this was I love the jar. I love this because I thought at least once I've then burnt the candle, you could use this as a decoration every Halloween. So that was the main thing that drew me to it. And there was only one available in my local TK Maxx. So I had to have it. I didn't actually realise the price of it until after I'd already bought it. So this was $24.99, which is quite dear for TK Maxx candles, to be honest. Um, a lot of the other ones are like maybe £15 at most. So quite a dear one, but you are getting basically a decoration as well so if i the wax is quite dark but you can see it in there so it's a double wick it's tunneled a tiny bit but even taking that lid off then the throw it's so strong it smells just like a mulled wine like got the berries in there the clove the cinnamon so i was on a cold sniff i knew it was a winner but burning would it be the same so yeah i've burned it's probably about halfway now this is, I don't think, has it got the weight on there as well? So it's 28.3 ounces. So it's quite big. It's There's more in there. Well, it weighs more than a large Yankee candle jar. And there is some other variations of this available that I've seen online that they look the same, but they say different things on the front. They say like poison or something. But obviously these are quite hard to come by here in the UK. So I've tried to have a look online, but I can't see if those ones that say something different on the front are different scents. I'm going to assume they are because... The Ray Dunn candles normally, even if they look the same but say something different on the front, they're normally then a different scent. So this was mulled wine. The lid, I have to be careful, the lid does not sit on this properly unless I really force it. Um, but I don't want to force it until I've actually finished burning it. But this, I absolutely loved this. This is what I wanted Yankee Candles Witches Brew to smell like, really. Um, which obviously, if you've seen that review, I'll link it down below. Mm not a winner for me, but this is what I would have liked it to have been. So if you like Halloween scents, but you're not a fan of like the pumpkin, this is really nice because I, you can really get, it's a little bit like um, sangria as well, really. Um, so you've got the, the berries in there, the, the clove, the cinnamon, but it's not really strong of cinnamon. So if you're not a huge cinnamon fan like me, you could potentially still like this. It is, the berries is the main thing that I can smell when I open the lid. And on burning, so I've just burnt this by the wick, it would not fit under my candle lamp because it is big. Um, I really, really loved this. If you love your sort of the berry smells, like blackberry sort of raspberry sort of smells, and then you like the mix of the clove and the cinnamon, but like I say, the cinnamon is not the main note in this for me. The main notes are really, it is just like clove and berries, really. I absolutely loved it. This was, at first when I picked it up in the store, I thought mulled wine, it's more of a Christmas scent. It's not really Halloween, but still really loved it. It's just, mulled wine's just good for any time of the end of the year, isn't it really? So absolutely loved this. Throw rating, eight out of 10. Um, it could have been stronger for me, could have had more cinnamon, but people obviously don't like cinnamon. So for me, definitely where I was burning it in that it was just like a normal size bedroom, going to give it an eight out of 10. Absolutely loved it. I feel like it was well worth the money because you get the super cute little jar accessory to keep afterwards as well. So really enjoyed it. Let me know if you've had any of the other cauldron style ones, especially if you're in America. I don't know if they're a bit easier to get. Um, but as always, thank you for watching and I'll get a new review out for you soon.